I'm David Wakefield. I'm here for Woodworkers Journal, and uh, we're really here for this penguin here today, but I want to introduce myself a little bit as well. Uh, I've been designing and building toys for about 35, 40 years, especially these animated toys. I've made some big swings and rockers and all kinds of stuff, but I got kind of into these animated toys early on in the game, and that's been my passion ever since. At the moment, I've been on this bird theme, and it's kind of got me a little bit obsessed. I've been like up late at night working on this stuff, like two in the morning. But uh, this fellow here, the uh, penguin, I call him the well-tailored penguin because he looks so elegant and clean. He's fairly simple mechanisms, but simple doesn't always mean easy. The, the wheels are obvious, just offset wheels make some waddle. That's kind of straightforward. And there's a cam in there that drives a shaft. But the, the actual flippers, I was trying cams and strings and all kinds of stuff. And a friend of mine, John Hutchison, another toy designer, he said, why don't you try a yoke? And I thought, that's a nice, clean solution. So that's what I did. So as the wheels go, the cam drives that shaft that makes the flippers go with the yoke mechanism. So the deal with this guy, besides the mechanism, what I feel like I'm good at is capturing the, the character of the animal. And I do that in two ways. One is by the lines. And I might drive this penguin like 50 times before I get it the way I want it. And one of the things was a penguin definitely has a black back and a white belly. So I went for this using combined woods. This is ash here or walnut. You can use any number of woods. But uh, the way it's integrated nice and cleanly to show that design I thought was kind of significant. The flippers, it's the same deal. They're black on top and white underneath. It's a nice, easy little solution, but uh, it makes a difference in the way he looks. So I'm working on that idea, the new mechanisms. Um, some of these other toys, this was the first guy I came up with in the bird world. And he was new because he has a spring in there that pushes his head back. He doesn't rely on gravity and actually works pretty well on the wall. So anyway, that was my first guy. This is my, uh, this is my, uh, my animal. Uh, being a, a red-headed uh, woodworker, it's only natural that a red-headed woodpecker would be my guy. So when I'm out in the woods and I get a little too serious, it's uncanny how this works. I'll be driving along the road thinking serious thoughts and all of a sudden this guy will come raucously into my world and shrieking and laughing at me and I lighten up. So he was the first one I came up with and he got me excited about this whole idea of birds. This guy was my second, again, this nice little fellow. And then I came up with this vulture idea, which this is the first one I've done sort of a caricature of a bird. The head, this is like the cartoon from you know, Warner Brothers or whatever. And he's got a very nice shoulder shrug, which is a new mechanism for me. There's a keyway slot in there. And then my pelican, uh, he has the mouth working and the wings teeter. I don't know if you can see that there, but so what I'm doing here with these birds is I'm getting a little carried away, but uh, what I'm trying to do here is capture the character of the animal with silhouette and movement. And that's kind of my deal. So I've got a book that I'm working on called uh, Things with Wings. And these are the starters. And I'm kind of going off into flying squirrels. And I've got a dragon I'm working on. I think I'm going to have some carved parts to them too. So it'll be wood carvers might be interested as well. Um, Anyway, that's me, David Wakefield for Woodworkers Journal. I hope you get to make some of these guys. Thanks.